So we're doing some more uh, prototyping. As you can see, this is the 8080p uh, plastic cabinet that I do. Um, that's being rebranded as the Tornado. Uh, will be the, the new branding coming up very, very shortly. It's already, already begun, but um, I've only just started changing the website. Um, but as you can see, it's got the, the same uh, closed loop set up in it, but this one is run entirely on 12 volts. So I've got a power supply on there at the moment. Um, but you can swap that out for some, some batteries and um, everything else is practically the same. It's got the same gun on it. Um, but like I say, this one is 12 volt. So let's fire it up. You see it's got decent flow. The pressure is not all that high. Sorry, fingers getting in the way. The pressure is not all that high, but I mean, it's decent uh, for 12 volt, but the real dif difference, and I'll explain this in a later video, uh, the real difference is, check out the density. Oh, you know, a little hard doing this with one hand. And here we go. Pressure's just dropped a little bit now. Yeah. Just give that a second to settle. As you can see, it's very dense. So, look at that, it looks like it's about 90%. So, it's probably a bit less than that if you drained off all the water and measured them separately, it'd probably be a bit lower. But, I mean, that's just significantly more, um, more media density. The media ratio was significantly higher than usual. I'll just do that again, clear that out a little bit, here we go, and just unreal. So I think more than likely this will be an avenue that I'll continue down. Um, the results I'm getting off it uh, I'll show you externally, but even in the in the cabinet light, you can see see how bright that's coming up. And let's flip that over and just show you what it's like under pressure. I think it's at, set to about 85 psi at the moment. So it's not like incredibly violent or anything, but just check that out. So. I think probably in the long run, this is something that I'll, I'll pursue a little further. Um, I don't know what the longevity of the pumps is going to be like. You can just see it down in the corner there. It's just a little 12 volt pump. Um, I'll probably have to find something a little bit more robust or maybe even have to modify something to deal with that, that high slurry content. Um, but I mean, proof of concept, it's viable. I don't know how well this is going to show, but just look at the shine that's come up on that. Um, I think this is probably the setup that I've got my best finish out of on an AC grade media. Usually to get it as shiny as this, I'd have to go and use, I think AE is what I usually use. It's um, almost like talcum powder, it's that fine. Um, but yeah in order to get it like this i usually have to go to that finer media um but yeah this setup manages to get it get it with the ac which is uh 150 to 250 micron um but yeah just slurry concentration is unreal just watch this so I've never even come close to having a slurry concentration that high. Um, been well worth working on this. The agitation setup in it seems to work really, really well. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely be pursuing this further in the long run. And it may even become standard on my cabinets. Even the, the mains plug-in cabinets. I probably find an analog and run a 240 volt pump maybe even with better pressure 
Um, but yeah, stoked with that. That's where we're at with it. Got this one ready to go out and I've been doing some more work on this one here, more testing on this one here. It would be nice to be able to get the concentration that I'm getting out of that one on this one. Um, but I've still got some more work to do. But for now, thanks for watching.